Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to add some color to our cave art that we drew last time we had art together. We did a follow along drawing with me using dots to get the bull and our cave animal on the paper nice and big. If you have not finished that, go ahead and work on that. And then when you're ready, come back to this video. We want to make our pencil lines much darker with a black oil pastel. Now the oil pastels that we are using in class look like this. And we are going to just use the black one. We're not really interested in any colors. If you do not have oil pastels at home, you can use a black crayon. You'll just have to press down a little harder. I'll show you both and um, you can see how they both work. And if you make a little mistake on your paper like I did, it's really okay. It's cave art. So we're gonna be smudging lots of things on our paper. With the oil pastel, you're just going to press hard and make a nice dark line on your paper. Not too hard that you're going to break the oil pastel, but you really just kind of want to go over all of your pencil lines and really make them stand out against the paper that you used. Crayon is the same way. It's not as dark and you may have to go back and forth like I am. You don't wanna just trace it like this. It's not going to be that dark of a mark and your pencil lines will still show. So let's give this, um, if you're using crayon, kind of a nice thick dark line. This is where oil pastels work quite well because it makes a thick line right off the bat. We're gonna trace the eye head and our horns. Great. Now that you have your lines traced, if you notice I've darkened in the bottom of the hooves a little bit just to make those um, look like dark parts on the bottom of our bowl. Awesome. Make sure you're going nice and thick. I'm just checking mine and going over it. Now we're going to take your finger and I want you to kind of smudge over the line. Notice I'm not taking my hand and going back and forth like this. I'm not going up and down. I'm just going over the line. I'm kind of pushing the color around. Oil pastels work really well this way. And it kind of makes it look like it's a little bit older, a little bit um, like it's been around for a long time, just like the cave art. So again, I'm not going all over the animal making a big smudge. I'm just kind of rubbing my finger over the line to give it some texture around the paper and give it that kind of look like it's been hanging out in the cave wall for many years. Awesome. You can wash your hands if you want to. I'm just gonna keep on going. Our next step is to paint the inside of your bowl. Now, if you don't have paint, you can certainly use crayons or colored pencils, and we're going to color ours brown. But if you do have paint, I wanna show you how in class, we're gonna be making our own paint, our own brown. This is tempera paint, and I've squeezed into these cups, yellow, red, and blue. I added more yellow than red and more red than blue. So um, you don't wanna mix the same amount of each color because then your color is going to like shift more blue. Now in this cup, I have yellow, magenta, and turquoise. So just slightly different. We're gonna see what kind of browns we get from both of those. I like to use a paintbrush, the back of my paintbrush, to do my mixing. So we're gonna mix these primary colors together. And when you mix all three primaries together, you will get brown and depending on the amount of each of the colors you added you can get a different kind of brown so this one's looking like a little bit more of a reddish brown if i wanted to make this darker i would just add more blue if it's looking too green then i can just add a little bit more red so there we go there's our brown using yellow red and blue now let's take a look at what's turquoise, magenta, and yellow turn into. I'm gonna mix those two together, three together. 
slightly different variation of the primary color. It's kind of like a magic show here when this all happens. And a different type of brown with our yellow, magenta, and turquoise. So we can use both browns in our painting. If you just have watercolors at home, you can use your palette mixing area right here. Obviously, I would want to clean mine out, but you can start by putting yellow over here, adding a little red, and then adding a little blue, and then make your own brown. Of course, there is brown right here, but how cool it would be to make your own brown and paint your animal. Watercolor would work just nicely with oil pastel. Now I'm ready to paint. I do just dip my brush in the water a little bit just to get my bristles stuck together, but I really am not going to need the water anymore. And I'm going to paint inside of my oil pastel or crayon lines using both colors of brown. And you can kind of mix those together. And because one looks a little bit more cooler than the other. This one looks a little bit more bluer and this one looks a little bit more redder. It's nice to have both kinds to paint your animal. Staying inside the lines. If you accidentally, like I did here, go over your oil pastel lines, when your painting is dry, you can go right back over, um, which we most likely will do in class, go over those lines. I am getting a little sloppy. <laughs> Um, going over those lines with black oil pastel. So this is what we will be accomplishing in class today. Um, whatever you get done today is awesome. I hope you are enjoying being a cave artist today. I am not going to paint the horns because the horns are a different color than the rest of the animal. So I'm just going to leave um, those be Next class, we are going to use some chalk pastel to go on top of our animal to give it a little bit more um, color and then some chalk pastel around the outside of it.